no COD trailer. That makes it very awkward to break these two conferences up. <laughs> Either way, if you are with me, I most likely gonna make this one the Sony press conference. Here's the Sony press conference for you. I will have another video before this on the pre-show. Pre-show wasn't anything spectacular, but if you wanted to see it with my commentary, go ahead and go back and watch it. It should be up before this one anyways. And it wasn't very long. It was like 28 minutes long. Shouldn't be very long at all. I'd be watching like anyone else's Let's Play. This one, however, should be longer. I talked about my wants in the last one, but I'll quickly recap my wants here. What I want to see is Final Fantasy VII Remake stuff. New stuff. Let's see some characters. Kate Sith. Because Kate Sith's got a lot of controversy right now on how do you portray that character. A lot of people want the doll removed. A lot of people want the doll slash puppet to stay. Who knows? Let's see Nanaki. I would love to see Nanaki. And of course, we got to see our girl Tifa. We got to see what they're doing to that bus size because it changes in every adaptation of the game. Let's see where they're going with that direction. I want to see Final Fantasy 15. I want to see new stuff. I don't want to see rehash stuff. Let's see some new stuff on it. They showed a new trailer during the Xbox press conference. Let's see a bunch of new stuff now. I want to see Dark Cloud 3. That's a stretch. Probably not going to happen, but you never know. There's been some Dark Cloud rumors going around. I'd like to see it. Who knows? I would like to see also Borderlands 3. That would be good to see. Um, they probably won't have anything to show on it, but let's at least get an official confirmation Maybe a little something. A hey, here we go. We start the show. Let's get a little confirmation. And Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a must show. Come on. How do you not show Kingdom Hearts 3? Kingdom's Heart, Kingdom Hearts 3 has to show it. I don't... Did it make an appearance last E3? If it did, it was... No, it did. It did, it did, it did. But we need to pull it on out. Come on. We need... Get, get it into gear. Come on now. Let's get us some Kingdom Hearts 3 action. All right? Kingdom Hearts 3 has been very quiet. It's been very quiet, so uh, it kept things under wraps. Let's go. We got to do this. Now they're going to start the show. He's getting ready. Quit cock teasing us. But yeah, uh, if you haven't noticed, I really need Square Enix to show through. Square Enix's press conference got canceled. Or they didn't show up or something. They were supposed to have a press conference before this, and it never happened, so who knows. I think I might be quiet while we listen to the little symphony here. going on with this. That's an interesting way to introduce 
use a shell, that's for sure, but what is going on? You guys will probably see this occasionally throughout. I just want to make sure my thing's still recording. This is the first time I've ever used Audacity to record. I'm only using it so that I can get a difference in audio levels in this. Because last E3, if you watched, my voice was much higher than the audio. And because I was using OBS, they mixed together, so I couldn't lower one without lowering the other, or vice versa. So, trying Audacity out, so that I at least have two tracks so I can mess with the audios in the editing program if you What is going on here? And is this going to lead up to something? Do they have to buy time? Oh, here we go. They're showing something. Roar. That dumb hammer doesn't scare me. Isn't it the father's knife? What for? A test. She taught you to hunt, yes? Yes, sir. Then show me what you know. I am hungry. Is that no feed us? God of War 4? What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Are you Which serious? Your hunt, you tell me. God of War 4. South. Let's go. What a powerful way to start the show. In my opinion, this is already better than all of Microsoft's games. Holy cow, let's go. I mean, racing games, not my thing. Yo, the ceiling for Sony here, the potential is so high. Down, boy. Sorry. You must think. Do not simply react. Be calm and plan. It's just well, I guess that answers my question of why it's not Kratos' knife. You know, the best part is if I miss anything, I got this stream. I got a different stream. I got the official Twitch stream. On my TV, and it's delayed. It's what very behind, like doing? the kid just barely now got the ball. So if I miss something, or something's really cool, and I want to watch it again. All I have to do is look fire. one foot to my right, and there's my TV. Fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Ooh, Find it. <laughs> Find it. So, is this kid going to take over the God of War series? I didn't, um, I've never actually uh, beaten any God of War except one. I never played two. I started playing three, but I was under the age of 18 and my uncle. We are getting mad at me because they showed me these. Well, it wasn't really him, it's just he didn't want my mom to find out. He didn't care, but he didn't want my mom to find out, so. 
I do need to replay these though. Or not replay, I do need to replay the first and play the second. So I don't know what's up with the kid, but... No, this fist combat though? Can we get some Chris Tucker? You just got knocked the F out! That's Chris Tucker, right? Maybe? I think? I don't know. If you give me my bow, I can help you fight. I'm ready. You have yet to prove that. I need a chance. You had a chance. I need another. Then find Ooh. that deer. You had your chance, boy! That's a big boy. Oh! Get punched! You're watching Kratos get messed up. This kid was supposed to be helping, that's why he gave him his bow. Shoot it. Oh, look at little boy there, he's got some lightning skills. Ground pound, though. You know how you to roll out of the way? You just sit there and get smacked in the face? It is time! I will bring it down! You will kill it! Oh, I'm gonna make a little boy kill this thing. Bruh, Kratos is a beast. Look at this. Kratos went in the UFC. There's no way anyone's killed defeating him. I don't care who he is. That's why you don't got the bow, kid. I am so sorry. I. Your deer is getting away. Yes, sir. Look at Kratos just shaking off the arrow. You see, little boy, you just missed a huge target, and you want your bow back? I don't think so. Alright, you guys enjoy this trailer. This is where the little delay is going to come in handy. I have to go open the door for my family. So I'll be back in just a second. Enjoy this trailer. I know, but you're staring right at me. Him? I thought your mother taught you to hunt. She did, but I never had to kill anything. She always did that part. Then it is time for you to learn. Kid. Can't miss again. You've already missed twice. Exhale and release. Good. Finally, kid.
Yo, the live music for this is actually really cool. Like, the live orchestra for these is amazing. Awesome, now I'm all caught up thanks to my TV. Ooh, that's sad to watch. kill no no buffer no <laughs> you can't buffer on us a new beginning we're not live we're we're behind by a couple seconds we're gonna go live we're gonna go back to being live It's not like we missed no sending these. Sorry for that, but there's a buffer, not much I can do. Please welcome to the stage, Sean Layden. Live orchestra is so good, though. Good evening. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. What a way to start the show, huh? With a live demo of God of War. Right now, also a special thank you and a shout out to our very talented composer of the soundtrack to God of War, Mr. Bear McCreary. Here tonight with his awesome orchestra, and they'll be performing all evening. So that's, that's really exciting for all of us. Thanks to everybody. Before we go any further, though, um, I think it's important that we take a moment to, uh, to address the, the heartbreaking tragedy of Orlando this past weekend. A horrific event like that, carried out by a madman, really underscores our need for for greater love, tolerance, and respect of people of all kinds. On behalf of the PlayStation community, I just want to say that our thoughts are with uh, the victims and the families and the community of Orlando. Uh, we stand four square with them, and we hope that in this week of perhaps our gaming celebrations, within the, the diversity of our gaming community, we can find some strength, some comfort, and some solace. Uh, the PlayStation community stands four square with our friends and fans in the LGBT community as well. Uh, and I know they're all uh, in the hearts of everyone tonight. Everyone give a clap for that. It's cool that every conference, I don't think there was one conference that skipped it. Every conference paid tribute, and it was nice. So without the transition sounding awkward, please bear with me, but I would like to welcome you all to the historic Shrine Auditorium. We've been away from this venue for a while, but now we're back. We're delighted to be here because it is a temple to creativity and to, all that, and to all that means. We're proud to be a part of a vast and expansive team of storytellers, artists, engineers, musicians, and programmers and actors. The massive and sometimes, sometimes tiny teams who tirelessly create works of art that we find ourselves getting lost in. And that is what tonight is all about. For the next hour, we will, we hope to, astound you with a lineup of games that are both dazzling and transformative, with a few surprises along the way. So without further ado, I'm proud to take you on this journey to some of the great games coming out on PlayStation 4. Please enjoy the show. Woo! Woo! You had a strong start. 
get a very, very strong start. In terms of games, I'd say PlayStation's already won. Someone asked me once if I remembered how it all went down. As if it happened so long ago that anyone could forget. So yeah, I remember. I remember when our homes and our towns turned into graveyards. When the wilderness became our only hope for survival. I remember when the planes fell out of the skies. When the trains stopped running. I'm not ever going to go in this life down, symphony orchestra thing. And the world went dark. I remember when they put up the razor wire. Like it was going to stop anything. When the feds ran out of body bags. And some of us sort of lost our minds. I think it's dead. Some lost more than that. Much more. I remember when we lived by a code, when brotherhood meant something, and living meant more than surviving. Goddamn liar! So yeah, I remember how it all went down. No, I don't give a damn about any of that. You know what I remember most? Riding the open road. The smell of your hair. The touch of your skin. I remember you. But those days are gone. Now, I'm a drifter. A bounty hunter. A mercenary. Me and my friend are kicking this entire and time me, and we're talking a bunch. The broken he, he seems to think it could be last of us left. too. That could be true. But that I'll might always remember. I mean, I don't know. Nope, not even close. I don't know why he would think that. I mean, it was like post-apocalyptic and stuff, but I don't know. Neither of us knew who Ben Studios was, so that didn't help. Is there a point to replaying this? some of it and then went into the last of us or not the last of us into the last guardian that confuses me so much that was very confusing but okay i have little interest for the last guardian so you guys maybe not i gotta use i gotta take a bathroom break but i don't know when to Got a release date. Look at that. This is Horizon. Yep, me and my friend knew this immediately. Alright, I know for sure I don't care about Horizon. I need to be very quick, because they're moving very quickly. I'll be back in a second. Corrupted machines Enjoy this trailer. I have to cross. 
I'm headed for the border. Then may the goddess show mercy. Let's have a look. I should focus again. Got some weak spots, but they're tough. Risky, but I need the components. Two explosive traps coming right up. I'm back, and I'm glad to see I didn't miss anything. My aunt was in the bathroom, so I had to run downstairs. Such Watch booty. Out. It's corrupted. Such booty, 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 rushing everywhere. You did it! I came from Mother's Rise. Corrupted attacked the village. Yes, and something worse. A demon. What do you mean, a demon? It scuttled from the uh, forest. She means Drove a, a demon. group of watchers mad. How did you do that? I saw, but I did not understand. Oh, Goddess, protect us! Yo, that Keep running from Mother's Crown, it's not far. Pixely AF Come with right me, now. or the demon will kill you. I don't believe in demons. That's why I like finding these YouTube streams whenever I can. The YouTube ones can get much higher quality. You're crazy. I mean, as you can tell here, that was very pixely there for a second. I mean, I'm sure some of that has to do with my internet, but the internet should be the same. Both my computer and my PS4 are hardwire connected, so maybe it wasn't an internet thing. I think that the, I mean, Twitch just gets so pixely sometimes. The village. I'll never make it in time. Unless I get a mount. Yeah, I give it to him. It looks like a huge map. If I override one of those, that should do. He works at GameStop, so he's lucky. At least he gets the. I took the day off. If you know me, my schedule, you know I normally work Mondays. I requested the day off last week, so I got it off. But he works at GameStop, and his. I don't know if every GameStop is doing this, but his GameStop is streaming the E3 to their TV, so he got to watch most of it. Didn't have to worry about it. What's that noise? What the hell is that? It's corrupting the watcher? Yo, oh, bro. That's actually kind of sick. Fire. Here we go! What's up with these ramp? Oh, wait, they're dinosaurs. Oh, no. Get stabbed. Boy, get taken down. Boy. Yo, that is no dinosaur. 
don't know, this game, like, the wide openness of this game is appealing to me, but I just can't get behind the concept. I love archery, too, that's the thing, like, I just love archery, I love the wide open games and the concept of wide openness, but this game just doesn't click with me for some reason. hair back and forth. And I would call it a tail, but it's on his head. Just strap down. This machine, it looks ancient. Huh? Where did it come from? How can a machine be ancient? Okay, let me rephrase that. How can a machine be ancient? And, well, is this game set in the future? It can't be set in the future. Though. Otherwise, they'd have guns and a bunch of technology and stuff. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Then why don't you take care of it? You let two of your guys die before you called an android? Why don't you don't call androids closer, first? Hi, Daniel! My name is Connor! Daniel. There's no way Daniel. Out, Daniel. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. I'm holding all the cards. Daniel. Of course they make Daniel a villain. See, guys. Look what you did. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I've spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. Rip little girl. My question is, if you have an Android, should there be some sort of, like, override system they should have? Kill me. 
I'm not alive. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. It's up to you how the story ends. That one obviously saves a little though. They just spoiled the game right there. There's no point in playing now if the whole game is just saving this one hostage. And he's just an android, so why would anyone care about him? They just gave up. If this is the entire game, then they just gave it away. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. You're an android. They just showed so many different endings to the game. I don't understand. My name is Connor. This is our story. I mean, unless there's like multiple decisions and cases and stuff. Detroit become human. Why Detroit? Why you gotta pick on Detroit like that, huh? You gotta pick on my Detroit Lions. I'm not a big fan of the VR, so again, this one can kind of skedaddle its way out of here for me. Who is this? Oh, never mind. They didn't do that cliche thing. Although I guess technically hanging up the phone is also cliche because this scene has been done, or renditions of the scene have been done so many times. Is this Outlast 2? No, you don't have a camera. This has to be some scary game variant, though. Is it Kojima Productions? Is Kojima off making another scary game? I guess rather not Kojima. Another. He he did a... Uh, what's it called? He did Metal Gear Solid. I don't know what I'm talking about. What'd you expect? You saw a bunch of cockroaches around the pot. Are you kidding me? Can't tell you expected anything different. Hi, buddy. During games like this, I don't necessarily care about. I'm just gonna peek up and uh, peek my Twitter. <laughs> See their peek. supposed to do god damn it i don't know i'm probably what gonna end up the country this game okay what the fuck <gasps> what do you see <sighs>
Santa Monica. I'm an idiot. In the pre-show, I was wondering what Santa Monica worked on. It's God of War. Scrolling through my Twitter, I see that. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a dummy now. I knew that name was familiar. I knew it was familiar from somewhere. It's God of War. Scrolling through my Twitter, and they just t talked about. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. You wouldn't get this if you didn't watch the pre-show. But if you watch that, that's Resident Evil. They're making another Resident Evil. My boy, the Truth DT, will be happy out with that. That's my favorite YouTuber. Yo, Sony is kicking butt with this press conference. In addition, Man. in addition to the PS4 console experience, the full Resident Evil 7 will be playable from beginning to end with PlayStation VR when it releases on January 24th. 2016 is a seminal moment in virtual reality. The time has finally come for everyone to enjoy VR in their own homes. And at PlayStation, we have a combination of the necessary processing and graphics power already built inside 40 million PS4s that have been sold worldwide. We... Thank you for that. We have the display technology, which can realize these images at a high fidelity. We have the production expertise to create a headset that is designed for the gamer. And because PlayStation 4 is a fixed platform, Developers can fine-tune their games for the system to deliver the same transformative experience for all PlayStation VR owners. I'm happy to announce here that on October 13th, PlayStation VR will make its debut in the United States. Gosh, that costs as much as a system. That's insane. Currently, That's expensive. more than 50 games will be available from launch until the end of this year. But it's a good thing I'm not interested. <laughs> that includes some of the biggest franchises, along with brand new titles that will be born on PSVR. We invite those here tonight, after the experience, and after this experience, to come with us next door to the arena post reception, where we'll be able to have some PSVR kiosks set up so you can all have a go. Now. I'd like to showcase a few PlayStation VR titles, starting with PlayStation exclusives developed by our own worldwide studios. Please watch. My God. I didn't hear what he said. Is this another VR incredible. game? Watch your suit on those rocks. We don't know what kind of pathogens might exist here. We can't afford a breach. We have to keep moving. You know, I bet this place isn't even on the star charts. Analyzing surroundings. Unknown environment. Unknown atmosphere. Wow. Unknown location. Wait. What the hell is that? Dr. Moon, where's Dr. Sun? Oh, 
Oh, this is Star Wars. This is something Star Wars. Uh, another VR. They are really hit home with VR. I mean, we all need a VR conference, but come on now. Battlefront? How do you feel when you put on that mask? Are you hiding from the world? Or do you want the world to hide away from you? Maybe you feel invincible. Than just a man. Maybe. Or maybe you're just like me. You see that life is nothing but a sick joke, and so you choose a face to match. But what happens when we become what we pretend to be? Is this the Joker? Becomes the new reality. Is this the Joker talking? Does it even a new Batman? After all, if you find a mask that fits, you never need to take it off. <laughs> oh, yep, that's Batman. Oh, here we go. Oh, Final Fantasy 15, let's go. Afro Jack. Did Afro Jack remix the Chocobo theme? Ooh, this is some new footage at least. At least to my knowledge. You're on ice. Uh, I get it. You guys get it? You guys get it? Are you... <laughs> Ramu! That was Ramu! Or Ruma, however you want to say it. Ramu! Oh wow. They really have to throw in dubstep? Why you gotta throw dubstep in there? And more. Oh, it's Sid! It's Sid! That ought to do her. What's up, Sid? This shouldn't take long. Down That's down. a behemoth. That's a behemoth. Hit it. Yeah, let's. That's a behemoth. Stay down. Oh, listen to that fighting theme. This sounds similar to Seven. What are you wearing? Why are you telling me about what? They're putting VR in this game with a gun. Who is this one? Bigness? I don't know the other names. Wow. They're turning this into a first person shooter with the VR. That's crazy. Surging in multiple sectors, LT. They're taking ground. Let's keep this on a tight loop and get back out there, Reyes. Captain on the bridge. Get us underway, Salt. Right away, sir. Captain has a con. 
Raven one docking? They're touching down now, ma'am. Good. Station time, one minute. Roger that. We've got four new hotspots on radar, sir. Check. I'll plot a course on your orders, sir. What's our target, Reyes? Stand by for objective. We've got a set-depth destroyer in lunar orbit. We'll coordinate a takedown with Tigris. Let's mount up, Lieutenant. Your jackal's up on bay three, right, Captain. Thanks, Chief. Captain? Ethan's already in back, sir. <laughs> You said, Ethan? Good to go, sir. What? Solar wind should be steady. Good hunt, Captain. Thanks, AT. What is this? I'm so confused. Was this supposed to be No Man's Sky? You spun up, Fever? Roger. Hydraulic drive. Nozzle's good. Let's hit it. Jackal 1112. Tower advises time to do it. 320 at 5. Check, 1-1. One, one. Roger, 1-2. One, Good decal. Moving up. Scar 1-1, one, one, you're locked for go. Roger. We're lit. Launch in 3, 2, 1. Where did you launch early? Shit! I got one on me! Counterman! What's this Call of Duty? On my way. Hang in there. I got this! This is Call of Duty. This is, oh my gosh, this is not what Call of Duty should be like. Easy soul, this easy. is why Battlefield is better than Call of Duty. Battlefield 1 is better than Call of Duty. I don't like all this futuristic crap being shoved down our guard. I don't like all this futuristic garbage being shoved down our guard. The fact that Battlefield was back World War 1 is what makes Battlefield great in my opinion. I, this is, I think this is Call of Duty. I should mention and respect it. Right, I'm just making sure my thing's still recording. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah, this has to come. There's no way it's not. Look at this. so dumb. This does not look good to me. Oh yeah, choking into death, huh? How nice of you. Implode the inside. Could this even happen in space? Like, could you even shoot bolts in space like this? I know it's a video game, but... Keep pushing! We are exterior of the bridge, preparing to bridge. Force in, let's go! Staff Sergeant, cover the exit. Ethan, restore life support. Aye, sir. Salt, scope the windows. I get the CO's card. Alert, this vessel has been compromised. All personnel to bridge response. Hold on, activating gravity. Tigris actual weapons are down, moving to Exville. Go loud! I think we got their attention! Clear the hole! Coming down the stairs! Oh, look at that, he's got a rush. One minute, let's go! Got him! Coming from the control room! Behind the pillar! All ass! Control room ahead! and grab hold!
Uh, this is just me. There's just gonna be so much space combat, and it's not even worth the trouble, probably. We'll see, you never know, but. Hmm. I'm honestly surprised you didn't get booed. Probably because. Oh, okay. Is this what I think it is? Looks like we're nope. rolling in with everything. What the? Do people know what this is? Because I don't. Is this a true ghost recon? Oh, or is this the Call of Duty 4? I'm so confused. It's been so long since I played COD 4. Is this COD 4 or is this something different? Yeah, that's right. Looks good. That looks good. I mean, when you have to bundle your game like that, then you know something good. I wish I'd sell it as a standalone. I would buy it as a standalone. I'd definitely buy it as a standalone, but of course they won't. Yeah. They won't, so yeah, that's, that's what right. I Maybe later, but you never know. No t shirt tonight, but. <laughs> I'm proud to announce that we work with Is our he partners good? at Activision. No. We're going to bring back the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped, fully remastered from the ground up for PlayStation 4. Crash Bandicoot will also appear first though, uh, on PlayStation 4 this October in Skylanders Imaginators. So let's have a look at that. Wow, they actually did Crash Bandicoot stuff this time. Yo, they were not kidding. This is straight up. Oh no, this is Skylanders. So he said they're remastering. One thing free for PS4, but not just remastering. But remaking from the ground up. That means that it's going to utilize all the PS4 technology. Not just utilize the upscaling power, but utilize the actual build technology. Star Wars. I see your eyes. The belonging you seek is not behind you. It is ahead. The droid. I'll pay for him. Actually, the droids are not for sale. Come on! The two were accompanied by a girl. What girl? She what was... girl? This droid has to get to the resistance Let base me. as soon as possible. He's carrying a map to Luke Skywalker. Tell me your breath there has got loose. I got a bad feeling about this. 
Ooh, get eaten, scrub. No, don't buffer. Please don't buffer. Please don't buffer. Why you got a buffer? Get forward. Okay, I'm sorry we have to. The this is one of the least important games that comes out later this month. In like two weeks or something. We're not done yet. <laughs> I love the Lego Star Wars game. Humors. Humors? I love the Lego Star Wars games. Humor. Well that's part of the Lego games in general. See that one coming. <laughs> All right, so they got a demo. I might have to record the demo today or tomorrow. Please welcome to the stage, Andrew House. Oh, they're slowing the pace down. Okay. No, they can't be over. They can't be over. It can't be over. There's still Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7. Are you serious? That's it? Come on. Why do you end on Lego Star much, Wars? Uh, it's an absolute honor to be here at E3. Our mission is to make PlayStation the best place to play for gamers. And I think you'll agree that this E3 marks one of the strongest lineups of content in PlayStation history. But That's you missed a result out on some of our biggest commitment titles. to partnerships with the most talented developers and storytellers in our medium. You better say and Square Enix. As proof of that commitment, please join me in welcoming one of the most creative talents in the history of gaming. Square Enix? Yo, the, the, the special effects are on point. He's walking a little faster. I see Kojima. Okay, that makes sense. Kojima's new game. That makes sense. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm back. Yeah, stick it to the man. Screw your old company. They screwed you, and everybody Today, knows it. I bring something new. Uh, we move. We, we made for you, and this is all uh, learning in real time. Please enjoy. Yo, someone said that would. <laughs> Safely. My question is, what is this? It seems like some people know, but I don't. I am at a loss. Disgusting, actually. Soon I'll come around. Lost and never found. Waiting for my What? 
is going on here? I'm so confused. Didn't really explain much, but it happened. People see me and think they're safer. But it's not really me they're seeing. Is this what I think it is? Nope. Probably for the best. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. Oh, well, is this Spider-Man? Oh, uh, Spider-Man? <laughs> no yep. pressure, right? Stop dropping the curtain, that makes me so scared. If they don't show Final Fantasy VII or Kingdom Hearts, I'm gonna be severely upset. They have to show at least one. At least one, come on. Although I don't like the sign of this guy. He's probably ending the show. Everyone sometime in your life should have the ability to walk on with an orchestra. It's the most amazing thing ever. Let me tell you, thank you guys so much. Uh, Tim, take it out. We are on the verge of a future unlike any other. Thanks to the dedication and the passion of the greatest gaming community of all time. We, we are committed to delivering the future technologies and experiences that will continue to evolve console gaming. We thank you, our partners, our allies, our friends, for going along with us on this journey. Thank you. You're welcome. At the, <laughs> at, the, at, the core, at the core of interactive entertainment is the cons it's play, right? As much as we love to talk about stories and visuals and emotions and graphics and technology, it all comes together in the brilliance of gameplay. So before I leave, it is my distinct pleasure to share a live demo with all of you of a title we introduced earlier tonight, but we'll see it played live. Thank you for coming tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, day's gone.
He's headed to the old sawmill. Going in after him. It's gonna be dark soon. When does that ever stop me? I just can't believe you don't show up to E3 with Final Fantasy VII Remake stuff or Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff. That's insane. What is Square doing? Right, I know they're working on Final Fantasy XV, uh, but out of the three, that's probably the least hyped. To be 100% honest, Final Fantasy XV is probably the least hyped out of Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's like the last of us man me and my friend are kicking you've probably heard it but like how is this not the last of us it looks so much like it it just seems so much like it the environment that i'm using came out of nowhere, literally. Oh, that's hard, this. What happened to all the zombies on this side? I guarantee they all didn't just run around. There you go, back to that motorcycle boy. Oh shit. I would have kept running. If you had a lead, that's why you keep it. See what happens when you turn? There's no way you're gonna kill them all. This one had been so dramatic. You were just taking your lead. There's a buffer, but uh, at least I don't care too much about this game. <sighs> Goes alive though, just just in case they have some surprises. You never know. Maybe Final Fantasy VII or Kingdom Hearts 2 does it. I doubt it. They made it seem like this is the last thing they're showing, but you never know. Rockstar Games. Rockstar oh Games didn't have a show. <laughs> I thought for sure Rockstar would show up with something. I'm surprised. 
I'm honestly surprised the Rockstar shows up a lot. I'm surprised they didn't show up. That's insane. Where's this guy's ammo count? How come he has infinite ammo? Scene, you just shoot your way until you die. Please, please, that can't be it. That can't be it. Please, please, that can't be it. Please, that can't be it. The curtain's still up. Stop it, Facebook. Are you serious? That's it? Come on, dude. Pre-show stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, there was some Final Fantasy VII remake stuff. I saw that they snuck that in. They snuck that in. I saw that. You can't get it by me. No, don't, don't buffer. Why you got a buffer? This is when they might actually show something Final Fantasy VII related. Come on now. I'm gonna go live. I'll keep an eye on that second TV and let you know if there's anything else Final Fantasy. Maybe if we can buffer it alive. Okay, you can stop buffering now. You can stop buffering now. It's not funny anymore. That's not it. That's not it. What? Are you serious? That's it. That's how they end this? You're going to show me a half second clip of Final Fantasy VII Remake and that's it? How can that be it? Oh, that's such garbage. That's garbage, yo. Meredith, Meredith, I dreamt there was a new God of War. <laughs> Meredith, it's I, true. Meredith, it's really I, true. I dreamt that Ben's studio was working on a biker zombie apocalypse game. Oh my gosh, there was so much good stuff. I don't even know where to start. Meredith, I dreamt gonna... that Insomniac <laughs> was making a new Spider-Man, and I dreamt that Kojima was here and Norman and Reedus was Norman here. Norman Reedus was naked. <laughs> we just. Give a girl a minute. There was a naked Norman Reedus in a Kojima game. And Rocksteady is doing a VR Batman now? Are VR Batman. VR X-Wing. Yes. VR Final Fantasy 15. VR... Resident Evil 7. Okay. From start to finish, playable on PSVR, and demo for PlayStation Plus right members now. tonight. Right you know, I played that kitchen demo last year at E3, and it was like better than an espresso in the morning. It was so crazy. I was literally shaking. I'm a huge horror fan. I've you were been jumping begging. during that demo. I've been begging for a really good <laughs> horror VR, and I think this is it. I, I think I think I'm not gonna sleep for like three days straight, but I'm okay with that. Absolutely amazing lineup from start to finish. And remember, you guys, this is just the beginning. We're here all week. We are here. We're all literally week here all week. Live.playstation.com. If E3 is open, we're open. Yeah. And we're we here. are gonna have 
so many more details about all of the amazing stuff that you saw here tonight. Sid mentioned this in the pre-show, but if you guys weren't there with us, we have actually over 75 games that we are covering in three days. You know, it's not going to be a bunch of trailers and a bunch of filler. It's literally just going to be interview after gameplay after interview after gameplay after Anthony screams Meredith, a whole bunch. Meredith, I had <laughs> a dream that me and my one true love, The Last Guardian, were finally going oh. to be together on October 25th. As you know, it's a day before my anniversary, <laughs> so husband, if you're watching, I know a great anniversary present you can get me. October's a huge month. I felt like everything was coming October 2016. Amazing. It'll be a good month for PlayStation fans. Absolutely, and if you want to know more about all of this stuff, remember, live.playstation.com for the rest of the week. I can't wait. Let's play some games. Is that it? Is that the stream? I think it might be. Yes? No? Maybe so? Yes? No? Maybe so? Oh, I think that's the stream. Yep, stream's over. Well, no Final Fantasy VII Remake, no Final Fantasy... No Kingdom Hearts 3, no Rockstar. That was confusing. Anyways, I guess that's it. I guess I'll see you guys whenever it comes next. If you watch this whole hour and 20-ish minute thing, you're the real MVP. Props to you. But, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peeps out.